Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you how to solve systems of linear equations in two variables using substitution method. So, marami tayong mga methods kung paano mag-solve ng systems of linear equations. Pero, ang ituturo ko sa inyo, ang i-share ko sa inyo ngayon, ay kung paano isolve ito sa pamamagitan ng substitution. Ito yung madalas ginagamit, pero maraming may ayaw, hindi ko alam kung bakit. Ano? So, dumako tayo sa ating first example at kung paano natin gagamitin ang substitution method. First equation is 3x minus 2y equals 9. At ang pangalawa natin, x is equal to 2 plus y. So, pansinin ninyo sa ating second equation, pwede na natin gamitin si x para i-substitute kay 3x minus 2y equals 9. Ano yung sinasabi ko? I-solve muna natin si equation 1. Pero, ang makukuha natin dito muna is the variable y. Kasi, ang isa-substitute natin is 2 plus y. Kanino? Kay x. Dahil sa equation 2, makikita natin, ang equivalent ni x ay 2 plus y. So, paano ginagawa yan? Our first equation is 3x minus 2y equals 9. Palitan natin ngayon si x, gawin natin siyang 3 times 2 plus y. Siyempre, may quantity yan. 3 times 2 plus y minus 2y is equal to 9. Distribute your 3 times 2 plus y equals 6 plus 3y and then minus 2y equals 9. And then we try to simplify further. Combine your 3y and negative 2y. So, y na lang. So, 6 plus y equals 9. Obvious naman. Ano ba yung number na pwede natin i-add kay 6 para maging 9? Walang iba kundi 3. So, subtracting 6 on both sides, we have 6 minus 6 is 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. Therefore, y is equal to positive 3. And that is your y. Okay, ano naman ang ating x? Gamitin na natin sa equation 2. Ano ang ating equation 2? x is equal to 2 plus y. Therefore, if y is 3, then x is equal to 2 plus 3, and that is equal to 5. So, simple, di ba? Meaning, by substitution, nakakuha tayo ng uh, solution ng ating equation, which is the solution 5, 3. So, I hope na gets nyo. Okay, ito na ating susunod na example. So, ang pangalawa nating example ay yung ating equations 2x plus y equals 5 at saka yung ating negative x plus y equals negative 4. So, sa dalawang equations na to, pwede kayong mamili kung alin ang gusto ninyong isolve muna. So, dito, ang ginawa ko, sinolve natin muna si y. Ginamit natin sa equation 1 para isolve si y. 2x plus y equals 5. So, how do we do that? Ang unang gagawin natin is you subtract 2x from each side. Ibig sabihin, parang yung tinatawag niyo yung transposition. Pero walang transposition sa mata. Take note, wala yun. Ang tawag niyan ay subtraction or addition property of equality. So, we have y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Anong susunod? Kunin na natin ngayon si equation 2. Tama? Ngayon, isubstitute natin si negative 2x plus 5 kay y. So, anong nangyayari? Paano yun, sir? So, negative x plus y is equal to negative 4. That is our equation 2. By substituting your negative 2x plus 5 to y, magiging x minus 2x plus 5 ang ating equation. And that is equal to negative 4. So, napansin ninyo, napalitan si y, naging negative 2x plus 5. And then, we shall now combine similar terms. Simplify your negative x, negative 2x. We have negative 3x and that is plus 5 is equal to negative 4. So, anong gagawin natin? We now subtract negative 5 from both sides. Ang mangyayari, your negative 4 becomes negative 9 and your 3x will just be negative 3x. I'm sorry, your negative 3x rather. By dividing both sides by negative 3, we have x is positive 3. 
Okay, nasundan po natin. And then the next is, kunin na natin si y. So, dito po pwede natin gamitin kahit alin sa dalawang yan. Pero syempre, uh, gusto kong gamitin pareho sana. Kaya lang, dito ang gagamitin muna natin ay si 2x plus y equals 5. Okay? Ngayon, ang nakuha nating value kanina ng x, we will now substitute x to 2 times x. So, that is 2 times 3 plus y equals 5. So, 6 plus y equals 5. And then, subtract 6 from both sides. We have 5 minus 6. We have y is equal to negative 1. Okay? Subukan naman natin ang ating pangalawang equation. Negative x plus y equals negative 4. Substitute your x with 3. So, that becomes negative x is equal to negative 3 now. Plus y is negative 4. Therefore, by subtracting or adding rather 3 to both sides, we have y is equal to negative 4 plus 3, which is also negative 1. Siyempre, dapat negative 1 din. And from there, ang solution set natin is uh, the ordered pair 3, negative 1. Okay? So, Ganyan lang po, kasimple ang ating tinatawag na substitution method. And finally, ang ating pangatlong example, we are going to solve the equations 3x plus 2y equals 3. And the other one is 2x minus 4y is negative 2. Okay? Ang unang gagawin natin, isolve natin ang equation 1. 4y. Pansinin ninyo, ang y meron siyang coefficient na positive 2. Therefore, may gagawin tayong simple steps a little later. So, the first to be done is subtract 3x from each side. So, napansin ninyo yung 3x nasa kabila. So, 2y equals negative 3x plus 3 nasa kanan. And then, after that, we divide both sides by positive 2. Pansinin ninyo, wala na tayong coefficient doon sa ating left side, left hand side of our equation. Therefore, y is simply equal to negative 3x minus, sorry, negative 3x plus 3 rather, all over 2. Ito ngayon ang gagamitin natin para makuha natin ang ating value ng x. Okay? So, let us now substitute negative 3x plus 3 over 2. In equation 2. Okay. Substitute na natin kay y. 2x minus 4y equals negative 2. So, pansinin ninyo, wala na tayong variable y. Puro x na ang natira. And let's try to simplify further. Ano napansin natin? Your 4 is cancelable, no? Divisible siya kay 2. And when we divide that, 4 divided by 2, we have positive 2. Okay? So, we try to simplify that again. Meron na tayong 2x minus 2, the quantity negative 3x plus 3 is equal to negative 2. Then, simplifying further, by distributive property, we have 2x minus 2 quantity negative 3x plus 3 becomes 2x plus 6x, correct? Minus 6 is equal to negative 2. So, what is 2x plus 6x? 8x minus 6 is equal to negative 2. Furthermore, anong gagawin natin? We add, correct? We add 6 to both sides. So, we have 8x equals negative positive 4. And dividing, of course, both sides by 8, ang matitira ay x is equal to 1 half. So, it's a fraction. The value of x is the fraction 1 half. We will now use the value of x, which is 1 half, to find for the unknown variable y. Okay? For the other variable, variable y. So, solve for y. Pwede natin gamitin kahit alin sa dalawang equation. So, dito, pili natin is the equation 3x plus 2y equals 3, the first equation. Substituting your x, which is 1 half. So, we have 3 times 1 half plus 2y equals 3. 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. 
plus 2y equals 3. And then we now subtract 3 halves on both sides of the equation. Therefore, your 2y will become 3 minus 3 halves. And we know that 3 halves is 1 and 1 half. Therefore, 3 minus 1 and 1 half is also 1 and 1 half. Therefore, 2y is equal to 1 uh, and 1 half, which is also equal to 3 halves. And from there, we now multiply both sides by 1 half. So we could eliminate your 2. Or just simply divide it by 2. I mean, that's the same as multiplying it by 1 half. Okay, so multiply this by 1 half, we have y. And multiplying 3 halves times 1 half is 3 fourths. Therefore, the value of y is 3 fourths. Thus, our solution set, 1 half, 3 fourths. So that is the substitution method of solving systems of linear equation. I hope you learned something. Thank you and God bless.